Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Still morning. All right. Questions, for Coach. First day in pads is it, is it different when the pads are on? Oh, it, it, it always is, and uh, you know you can see that uh, a little bit heightened anxiety. You know, guys are uh, guys were excited to be. Uh, in pads, you know, seeing some contact, you know, one of the biggest things for us is just making sure that we're contacting the right way. And, uh, you know, obviously always teaching. Um, it was, you know, some, a little bit structured, a little bit different structure in, in pads because we're going against the defense more. Uh, so just kind of getting everybody on the same page of, of what the expectation is there. But, uh, you know, all in all, I mean, I thought the guys, you know, they, they came out, you know, wanting to work. We just have a, a lot of things that we need to clean up uh, in regards to, to, to playing faster and, uh, you know, understanding the, the expectation for what it needs to look like, what it needs to sound like, and, uh, you know, but I thought it was uh, I thought it was a solid first day in pads. When you guys are in team, it seems like, I don't know, if you're focusing on trying to run the ball more, is there anything about bringing along the offense that one thing needs to, to start off that, so that everything else can yeah, follow I mean, that's, suit? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, we always want to be an offense that can run the football, and so, you know, we're really trying to get a... Uh, a start there, you know, build about build the foundation of, of what we're going to be, and then you know, be able to uh, add and adjust as, as we uh, as we move along. But um, I thought, like I said, I thought there were some good things. Uh, you know, really both sides of the ball. Uh, obviously, so, you know, being being first day in pads, there's some we have some newcomers into the program. Some guys are being you know that have developed, and then we're asking to, them to do more than they've ever done. So uh, you know, you will get a really good sense of that going back and watching film, but. Uh, I'm excited about uh, you know, some of the things I've seen early, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Coach, when you have a sort of break like this, how do you advise players and coaches to spend their time going into it? Nah, I mean, you know, just make sure that they're they're taking the things that they can uh, taking care of the things that they can control. You know, uh, these guys they have uh, they've got their playbooks. They've got you know things that they can do. They can make sure they're taking care of their bodies, resting up. I mean, it's been we've been after it, getting after it pretty good for the last ten weeks. It's just, it'll be good for them to get a little bit of a break, but you know, on the flip side, you know, they'll have uh, they'll have an opportunity to continue to grow, stay in uh, you know, stay in their uh, playbook, watching film, uh, making sure that we don't we don't lose anything in regards to what we've done in the first three days of practice. Because uh, when we get back, you know, it's gonna, we're gonna have to you know, stay after it. Coach Wyatt Rector's made that move to tight end. Wyatt Rector's made yes, move to tight end. How's he performed so far? Uh, you know, pretty pretty well for the first three days. And I mean, he's a, he's a young man that's athletic. Uh, you he runs well. He's got good you know natural hands. Uh, I think a lot of the um, you know development that we're going to continue to see from him is going to be in the in the run game. And uh, but he's but he's willing. And uh, at the end of the day, if you're willing, you have you have a chance. And so I know Coach Thompson's you know, going to do a great job with him and uh, you know with Cam and all those guys. So uh, we're we're excited about that. what that group can do. You had your version of the Oklahoma drill. Do you have a name for that? And kind of what what you know what do you get out of that? Yeah, um, that's we we call it a W drill just uh, for the for the pure formation of the drill. But uh, you know it's a it's a drill that's teaching teaching how to contact. And you know yes it is it's uh, you know, basically a three on three drill that. Uh, you know, allows you to tempo just like the, it's going to tempo in the game. You know, there's there's time and space that ha that have to be understood, and you know, everybody's going to work in sequence to, to have them do their job. But um, you know, it's a, it's a it's a great drill that I like, and uh, you know, it definitely has, adds a competitive spirit to it. And uh, you can tell that the guys uh, you know, yeah, they they enjoy that one. Seems like Tamarian Terry and Asante Samuel are consistently lined up across from each other. What have you seen from those two guys when they go head to head? Uh, you know, they're working to compete. And, that's what you want to see from some of your top guys. You want to see those guys embrace the competition. Um, you know, I think they're going to make each other better each and every day. And uh, you know, that's it's kind of you know the the, the minimum the, the minimal expectations of what you're uh, what you're hoping for. And uh, uh, we've had some, both guys have shown shown well at different times. And uh, you know, we've got a lot of a lot of growth and uh, you know competition here ahead of us. The conference has been talking about the last couple of days about the ongoing everything going on with the coronavirus. No, I mean we're right now we're uh, you know the university is, is providing guidance uh, and as we're working through all the process I think this is something that's new to everyone and so uh, you know for us we're we're taking guidance from the university uh, you know obviously our players' health uh, you know just health of, of everybody is something that's that's critical uh, you know for for us and what we're doing and so um, you know, we've got a we've got a great administration and uh, you know, I know that they've been they've been on on top of it with a plan and, and obviously a great focus of uh, the next steps moving forward. Is it changing anything for you all in terms of 
encouraging student, your, your students, your players to stay or leave for spring break? And like I said, I mean, we're, we're gonna we're gonna uh, you know, seek guidance from from our administration, and uh, you know, we'll kind of go from there. Is it something that you're in talks with the conference too, with, with the ACC, or is it, are you gonna follow their lead, or is it strictly just talking with the university? Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sure the universities uh, you know, they're having communication with everybody, and uh, you know, this is uh, this is something that. Uh, there's a lot of different, a lot of different uh, you know, thoughts about it, and so uh, you know, we're we're leaning on the uh, on the leadership, whether it's conference administration, NCAA in general. So uh, you know, it's something that we're we're working through. What will the next couple of weeks be for your the coaching staff in terms of the process of evaluating the practices and then planning ahead for the next phase? Oh well, I mean, we've got it we've got it planned as of right now. So, you know, it's, it's something you go into spring with a with a plan of how you want to see see things progress. But uh, you know you got to trust the process, and you also got to you know uh, you know almost recalculate as you're working through uh, you know how the progression is going. And uh, we're not going to have everything in. That's the, we I fully understand that. Um, we're gonna, we have got to see, be able to meet these guys at where they are, and uh, you continue to push for them to get better. Uh, everything will be evaluated. You know, you know you're going to see guys that, um, you know, as we're as we're we're going. I mean, you might see some movement in, in positions. You might see some some guys that are you know elevating themselves in the number of reps that they're getting. And so it, it's all per, uh, performance based. And uh, um, you know, I know those guys are excited about the competition, and you know, I'm excited about seeing them continue to grow. Getting three practices and one in pads and then breaking for a week, and do you like the way that lays out, or is it just making the best out of the calendar? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's really working through the calendar. I mean, it's um, you know, there's a lot of for us. It it fit right this year. Uh, you know, to be able to get a full session of, of the winter conditioning program, uh, you know, for us to maximize the time uh, in, in every aspect. I mean, this it is there's the best calendar for us. So, uh, you know, it, it's it, it's good. These guys probably probably times up well for them. Thanks so much. Right, thank, thank you, Coach. You.